Hey guys, we're at Shinsuela. Um, this has got to be like the five star part of our holiday. Um, I took a video earlier on today about our epic morning drive alongside the um, the, the lions, including the white lion. Right now, um, we've come back, had a shower, had breakfast, got my cup of tea. Did you know it? Shinsella means honey badger. This is a honey badger and as much as we would love to see a honey badger whilst we're here they are nocturnal and extremely difficult to find um, but hey we have been extremely lucky on this on this holiday incredibly lucky so just a quick sort of morning tour this is the each morning, each meal to say what's going to be in the next, what the options are in the next meal and you just tick off what you want, uh, how much of what you want and they will um, do that up for your meal. Your rides, all your rides out, all your safari rides out are done by a uh, ranger and who is absolutely full of knowledge which is absolutely wonderful. And he will drive the vehicle in here for you to supply you with drinks and a snack on each of the ranger drives and the opportunity to get out to use the toilet which is a bonus because when we were driving ourselves there was a lot of us and get out of the vehicle so we did get to go to the toilet and sometimes we've been holding our bladders for a very long time. Um, this is where we had behind this lovely fence made out of wood that I imagine the um, the elephants must have knocked down. If only we had wood like that in England. You should see the toys here. <laughs> the toys are just everything is amazingly made out of wood. Um, so that we had a fire behind that last night um, and had a wonderful meal. And then you've got the, you can't really see the gardens from here. luxurious to sleep in and shower in and each tent has got a bed with sort of a beautiful mosquito curtain that's over it and um, and then a door through to the shower room with a toilet and it's all very open plan it's all very airy and um, they will go in and they will uh, clean it up and make the beds for you and everything in the morning and then when you are out on your evening trek um, they will come in and they will set up the bed for the night time for you which is lovely uh, that's about all I can show you from here oh yes the pool so this is the pool and I'm about to go and dip my feet in that because I'm feeling a little bit warm at the moment but this is a beautiful camp and I would recommend it it has been the first time on this holiday when it feels like a relaxing holiday <laughs> Someone else is doing all of the driving and um, um, they're limiting the time that we're out on the vehicles, which means we're getting a nice rest time during the day, which we have not had when we've been doing it ourselves. We have been so desperate to see the animals. We have been driving from 6 a.m. in the morning until somewhere between 12 and 2 each day, coming back, getting something to eat. Um, not having any time to really collapse before getting ready to go out on the afternoon of sort of 4.30 um, through until about 6 when the sun goes down you have to be back, back in the camps again but when you're on guided ranger tours you get to stay out a lot late, later uh, which you will have seen some um, more videos and tons we've got so many photos we haven't gone through the photos yet we will go through the photos but right now just thought some small video captions for you to see what we're up to um, and where we we're staying and what we're doing.
and each accommodation has been on a completely different budget just to give an, us an idea and you guys an idea of um, of what you can do and what you can afford in Kruger. So we're currently on a private reserve outside of Kruger, or on the edge of Kruger. It's in Kruger, but it's not in it's not in the government-run Kruger area of, of Vega. I've just done a bit of a spin round for you, 180 degrees, and oh. I have to show you because he's just come into shot. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, can you see him? He's a little hornbill. I've become very attached to these little hornbills. Um, and oh my God, we saw the most adorable, absolutely adorable. Oh, hold on, we've got mongoose here as well. Um, can you see them? What I was saying before was that we saw the most gorgeous, most um, hyena. Yeah, there was a scraggy looking mum, to be fair, she was a little scraggy looking, but her youngster, who was fully grown, um, was the most gorgeous, fluffiest, adorable looking um, hyena I think I have ever seen in my entire life. Ranger here was saying they have got a really, really bad rep, mainly from one of our most favourite films, The Lion King. But they are actually one of his favourite animals. Um, and they are so different to how you you would imagine them to be. They are like fluffy little dogs. <laughs> you just want to put your hand out and stroke them. Don't advise it. Don't do that. Um, but that's how it felt when you saw his fluffy coat. There are photos. Check out the photos.